How far back can you trace your family? I can trace it back to my mother's grandparents and my father's grandparents. Now, I did not know them, but we know who they are. My mother's grandfather owned her grandmother. They had four children, and he had four boys. She, he's, the master sent them to college, and two of the girls went to Hampton Institute. And they said that they had a wonderful childhood. Now that's as far back as I can go on my mother's side. My mother's mother had a series of strokes when I was two. She had come to White Sulphur every time my mother had a baby, and my mom had four. But she, after I was born, she became ill, and she died when I was 16. And uh, I can remember her being a semi-invalid during that whole time. My father's grandfather was a purebred Indian. And we have never, we haven't yet been able to determine what tribe, but uh, one of the cousins is working on it. We did, he, daddy's mother died. Well, I didn't know this. We didn't know his father. We, his mother died when he was nine, but we knew his stepmother, and we called her Granny. And uh, after, in later years, she lived on the same street that we lived on. And we'd go down and tell her we were hungry because she made such gorgeous pancakes. <laughs> um, it's, it, it's an interesting mix of, uh, that you just described that I think a lot of young people today would have a hard time understanding where you have um, a family made up of, uh, of African Americans, of whites, of Indians. Indians. What were, how were those relationships worked out? I mean, because the society did not see everyone as equal. Oh, no. Well, my mother says that they thought a lot of the grandfather, and they called him Bra Abe. And uh, his family, his white family was over here, and his black family was over here. And uh, she knew her grandparents. Now, uh, Daddy didn't know his grandparents. He never mentioned his grandmother. But he, and we didn't know until we were grown that he was Indian, that his grandfather was an Indian. Nor did we know that Mama's grandfather was white, and because they sort of were ashamed of their lineage, and we had to drag it out of them, and and just did not know until we were. I think we were in college when we found out. Why were they ashamed? I guess it was just one of those things. They didn't did not brag about it. They didn't act ashamed, but they just did not talk about it, not a word, until we began asking questions, lots of questions. 